And back here at home on Monday, a protest was held at the University of Texas in Austin for the third time within a week. It ended with state troopers arresting several protesters. Down in San Marcos, Texas state students joined the demonstrations by holding a sit-in on campus. Tan Radford with our sister station in Austin brings you the latest. Pro-Palestine protests started around noon on Monday at the University of Texas and Texas State. It's us coming out, the woodwork saying, not in our name, it's not going to happen on our dollar, and we're not okay with it. Dozens gather with signs and flags at Texas State, chanting and asking those in attendance to sign a ceasefire petition. There were very few officers at the protest. There's always the sentiment that we want violence and we want other things aside from peace and liberation for Palestinian people. That's all we want. The crowds were larger at the University of Texas. UT officials issued a dispersal notice, which was followed by the appearance of DPS and APD. I hope that this does not mirror that. It continues to be what we're seeing right now, and it's just letting people say their peace. Counter protesters waving Israeli flags were present on both campuses. The thing is, we've tried to talk to these people. They're the ones who don't want to speak to us. They're not pro Palestine, they're pro Hamas. They're anti Jew and they're anti America. Demonstrators set up a barricade of tables around tents on the UT campus leading to several arrests for refusal to comply, according to the university. A statement was issued following the arrest, saying in part, quote, after protesters ignored repeated directives from both the administration and law enforcement officers to comply with institutional rules and remove tents assembled on the university's south lawn, then physically engaged with and verbally assaulted dean of student staff who attempted to confiscate them, UT and partner law enforcement agencies dismantled an encampment and arrested several protesters. End quote. Governor Abbott also chimed in in a post to X, saying no encampments will be allowed. Instead, arrests are being made. UT police are doing what they are asked to do by administration. So where do we go from here? Where we go from here is we've, we've got to be engaging with the administration to find a, a, a protocol for protest and places on the campus for meaningful engagement on the component parts of this issue. Students who are arrested will go through a disciplinary review process, while staff members will go through an HR process. The exact number of people arrested in Austin is still unknown.